it. I don't know if y'all can tell. Can you see that? How lighter it looks? On the sides, like it looks like they bleached the perimeter. Yeah, look, it look like bleach is in there. Y'all see that? I know I'm not tripping. That is bleach. I know y'all see them white dots now. And this is still in its uniform, so it's not like I bleached it. You see that? So yeah, it's like they bleached it already. You see them bleach spots and you see how regular it look like. This is straight out of the package. I don't know how to do no S curl and no wig like that. So they definitely bleached an ounce on here. All right, you guys. So I went ahead and bleached the middle section of this unit. And I literally just parted out a section. This is what it's currently looking like. I know it's a little messy like all around here, but I will be fixing this once I actually finish putting the color on and everything. You guys know I have that color corrector pin, but this is what the hair is looking like. This is what the ends are looking like. I would say the top looks a little bit lighter, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start um, rinsing this color off. I don't wanna leave it on too long because you know we don't wanna over process the hair. So this is what it's looking like though. I just wanted to show y'all since I didn't show you guys me actually doing the process, I wanted to show you guys at least the setup and everything so this is what the back portion of the hair looks like i literally just clipped those pieces out of the way the rest of the hair is just still regular i used this blonde brilliance to bleach the hair i went ahead and got this this smells so good and you can only purchase this at sally's i try to get this at regular beauty supply stores but they never have it so definitely check out sally's or even order it online if you're interested in this bleach i also use some 20 volume developer you don't want to use anything over 25 volume developer with this bleach because your hair is going to be fried okay so make sure you just use 20 volume 25 is the max you can use 10 15 but 20 is good if you want to have a nice light color Try me a dessert no time to have you lurk you make a white man you don't like it you know i dealt with you the nicest Nobody touch me in the right Nobody touch me in the crisis I believe that all of your dreams are the reason You took my heart, all my keys, and my vision You took my heart, all my sleep, and decoration You mistaken my love, I brought for you for foundation All that I wanted from you was to give me Something that I never had Something that you never seen Something that you never been Hey, hey, we'll see what's about to happen. 
Hey, we'll see what's about to happen. I'm making a change today. The lip have been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I hey. Yeah, I got one lawyer, got one in that day, the only two, man How many times have I told you the truth, man? How many nights I've been woke, swerving the potholes Not trying to fuck up the wheels, I fuck up the deals I'm posted to stop home, it's me the house and the twins It's only the real, I'm moving way too humble Weezy and handed it up, I still got no fumbles I'm on a hot 100, numero uno This one ain't come with a bundle I'm in the wind, a million in chocolate chips And that's just how my cookie crumble I put a skirt on the whip and a crown on the six But there's no need to dress up the numbers Hey, hey, yeah, but I can see my petty reasons they wanna know how I'm living my day-to-day -day life in the regular season Well, summer all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen Hey, hey, we'll see what's about to happen Hey, we'll see what's about to happen I'm making a change today, the lip have been taking the pain away I heard you was giving your chain away, that's kind of like giving your fame away what's
Said I'd never let you in Cause you got me faced out And don't take this personal he covered it up with black hair because the entire ponytail was black and I thought it was so freaking cute but I wanted to try it out of course I didn't want to do a like baby pink color I definitely wanted to work with a color that I felt like would work with my skin tone and deeper skin tone so I did do this hot pink color which I think is so freaking cute it's just like the perfect little pop of color and it's just so cute I do have all of my hair going towards the back instead of like having the piece in the front because I could go something like this you know what I mean 
have the hair down the front and center, but I didn't really like how this looked. Even though I did flat iron my hair this way, I don't really like this look. I prefer it to be in the back. I feel like in the back, it looks so, it looks better. And plus you can really see like my baby hair or like my little swoops, whatever these are called. So I did bleach this hair the regular way. I didn't use like a hot water bleaching method. I literally went in with an applicator brush like this one here and I went ahead and applied the bleach to the actual hair rather than doing like the hot water bleach method like I did in some of my previous videos. However, I did use the hot water color method at first to color this little strip, but I noticed like it wasn't taking enough. Like the color, no matter how much color I was putting in there, I felt like the hair was not taking to it. I said, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the color directly onto the hair and here we are. That was the best decision that I made because it definitely helped the hair be more vibrant. So I definitely left the color on for about an hour before I went ahead and rinsed it off. And one key thing that I do wanna point out, whenever you are dealing with hair and you are coloring the hair and you're rinsing it out, I would not suggest washing the hair with hot water because you can cause the hair to bleed and it's better to wash the hair with cold water. If when you wash your hair with cold water, it'll help protect your color and your color will last a lot longer. So just be mindful of that when you are coloring your hair. So this unit is a 13 by four unit, you guys. I did receive this unit from Beauty Forever Hair and I do currently have it in 24 inches. So me being 5'3", this is where the hair hits on me. So this is definitely a little bit past my weight. This is where it's hitting me in the back. So one thing that I will say about this unit that I'm not a big, big fan of is the density. I wish that this unit was just a little bit thicker. That's just my own personal preference. So I would say if you are gonna get this unit to definitely go for like 180% density, I think that would be perfect for this look. But for me, I just would probably have added like a couple more tracks in the back. Even though I put most of the hair in this ponytail and then the rest is in this bottom portion, I just still feel like this is kind of thin for it to be all of the hair, you know what I mean? It just seems a little thin. That, that could just be me though, y'all. So like I was saying, I would just opt for something a little bit thicker, but it's still a decent density. But just for me, like I would want this unit to just be a little bit thicker. The pro that I do have for this hair though, is the fact that the part that is pink and I did like bleach it, like the hair texture was not compromised at all. Like the hair matches the same with the rest of the hair. Like it doesn't look fried. You know what I'm saying? Like I could come up close, the ends don't look fry. Like it's still beautiful, healthy hair, like from the root all the way down to the ends. So I do like the fact that I was able to bleach this unit and it still held up. I bleached this strip twice and I did use the Blonde Brilliance Bleach, which lifts your hair up to nine levels. So it is the strongest. You can only use 25 volume developer or lower when using it. I just wanna point out the fact how strong this hair has to be to withstand some bleach like that, especially bleaching it twice in a row. So I do like the fact that I still have beautiful hair. My hair is not fried. It doesn't look crazy. And I love the fact that it actually took to this really pretty color because a lot of times it can be very difficult to like color black hair you know when it's like black like this and you're trying to lift it enough so that it can be this bright color you know it can definitely damage the hair and that did not happen with this one so i am in love with that so as far as like the lace front i will say the lace front i wish i did have a little bit more room on the side part but i still was able to put my hair up into a ponytail without you being able to see tracks all right here is definitely tracks so i would just say like with this unit it's more so in like that horseshoe shoe type of thing but not really like the sides are more so cut off so I think this is actually the perfect unit to do like a half up half down with because you can't do like any deep side parting right here you can put like a part don't get me wrong but it'll just be like a little one or you can do like a curved part if you wanted to do like a deep side part I was like I want to make sure that I'm bringing you guys fun looks that I see online and looks that you guys may want to replicate or maybe you even seen online because I'm pretty sure you guys have saw Nicki Minaj's hair I'm pretty sure you guys saw this picture Okay, you guys saw this picture and you guys probably thought exactly what I did. Oh my God, I need to replicate that ASAP. I need that look. But my look is just a little bit different from hers because I do have my pink exposed. I did not dye the rest of the hair jet black. I just left the hair in its natural state. I did bleach the knots on the unit. When I did this portion, I bleached the whole thing, so I didn't need to bleach the knots right here because this whole thing was being bleached. But on this half, I did make sure that I bleached the knots. I just feel like this is a really fun, cute look, you guys. 
I want to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Beauty Forever Hair, for sponsoring today's video and sending over this beautiful unit. Although I did make a little bit of changes to it, it's still the same unit, you guys, and you guys are going to love this hair. So if you are interested, make sure you check out that description box down below for a direct link to this unit, along with all the details to this hair. If there is something that I didn't cover in today's video and you still have a question, go ahead and drop a comment down below and I'll get to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of you beautiful people in my next one. Bye.